Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a trigonometric expression. Trigonometric expressions are fun to simplify, and this is one of them. And I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. So we have cosine x divided by 1 minus sine x minus tangent x. If you don't know basic trigonometry, you can go ahead and look it up. There are some definitions based on right triangles. Uh, definitions are very easy to understand for actually trigonometry. Anyways, first method is basically going to use the idea of conjugates. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply the top and the bottom by 1 plus sine x. Let's go ahead and do it. Cosine x multiply by 1 plus sine x. I'm not going to distribute that because it's going to, you know, simplify later on. But these two, when multiplied, gives us uh, from difference of two squares, 1 minus sine squared x. And the tangent x can be written as sine x over cosine x. Great. Now here's what we're going to do. 1 minus sine squared from the famous Pythagorean theorem, sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. So this is probably the most important identity. And 1 minus sine squared just happens to be cosine squared. So cosine squared can be written as 1 minus sine squared. So we're going to replace this with cosine squared. Let's do it. Cosine x times 1 plus sine x divided by cosine squared, which replaces 1 minus sine squared, and then minus sine x over cosine x. Now this cosine x this and one of the cosine x will cancel out. We end up with 1 plus sine x over cosine x minus sine x over cosine x. Hopefully you see what I see. Now these two fractions have the same denominator, so we can just subtract the numerators. So this becomes 1 plus sine x minus sine x divided by cosine x. Sine x cancels out. We end up with 1 over cosine x, which can be written as, let me write it first, 1 over cosine x, and that can be written as secant x. And that will be the answer. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So let me rewrite the original problem. Cosine x over 1 minus sine x minus sine x. Actually, that's not the original one. Minus tangent x. Okay. So we're going to do something different here. First, like before, let's write tangent as sine over cosine. That's also another important identity in trigonometry. Now, what do you think about this expression? We have two fractions with different denominators, and you want to subtract them, right? Doesn't it make sense to make a common D, I mean a common denominator? It does, right? So let's do it. So multiply the first one by cosine x, and the second one by 1 minus sine x. And that'll make a common denominator. And what happens to the numerators? We just multiply them. Cosine x times cosine x is cosine squared x minus, now we can go ahead and distribute this, sine x times 1 minus sine x, and then minus sine x times minus sine x, that's a minus times minus or negative times negative, that is become, that is going to become a positive, sine squared x. Because sine x times sine x is sine squared. Make sense? Okay. And then this is going to be divided by the common denominator, as a general rule, do not distribute. Okay? Okay. So now what do we have? Numerator looks kind of complicated. What am I going to do with cosine squared minus sine? Nothing. But one thing we can do is significant here to combine cosine squared and sine squared. Because remember, we just talked about it, right? Sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So these two add up to 1. And the rest becomes 1 minus sine x. And at the bottom, I have cosine x. Again, do not distribute. 
for these kinds of problems because it's better in the factored form. Now we have one minus sine x in the numerator and in the denominator. So we can go ahead and simplify them. And that gives us one over cosine x, which is the same as secant x. And that's actually the same result that we got before. Of course, they should be the same. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.